Hello and welcome to the first episode of It's Rock Science. So for this first episode, I decided to focus on a mineralogy or I guess mineralogy adjacent topic and that is Moses Hardness Scale. I first learned about and utilized the scale when I was in college taking an intro geology course and it was a really fun way to work with and play with minerals and to understand what they were and how they compared or uh, interacted with other minerals around them. So it's a numbered scale listing 10 minerals that are ranked in order from least hardness to hardest. And so the least hardest mineral on the scale is talc at number one, and the hardest mineral on the scale is diamond at number 10. So hardness is defined as a materials, in this case a mineral's resistance to scratching. The more difficult it is for a mineral to be scratched, the harder it is, and the higher up on the scale that mineral would be. The scale is pretty easy to use. For example, let's say you have a mineral called mineral X. And mineral X can scratch talc but cannot scratch gypsum. Then that means mineral X is harder than talc but softer than gypsum and probably has a hardness of around 1.5. On the other hand, let's say mineral X is able to scratch talc and is able to scratch gypsum. That means it's both harder than gypsum and talc. Then you can work your way up the scale until you get to a mineral or a level that mineral X cannot scratch. For example, you work your way up the scale until you find that mineral X cannot scratch topaz, but can scratch quartz. Then that likely means that mineral X has a hardness of around 7 or 7.5. Every mineral has its own specific hardness. So this scale is a great tool to use when trying to identify an unknown mineral. So this is all pretty cool and pretty useful, but there are some questions that are left unanswered. First, there are a lot of minerals out there. Why couldn't sulfur be used instead of talc or halite instead of gypsum? Why was it these 10? Also, where did this scale come from? And as the title of this video reflects, who or what was Mo? Let's take a look. What was that guy? So Moses Hartness scale is named after Carl Frederick Christian Mo. He was a German-born mineralogist and he developed the scale in the 19th century. In his early years, he studied at the Royal Saxon Mining Academy in Freiburg, Germany. And while he was a student there, he studied under Abraham Werner. And Werner was a very, very prominent mineralogist, really famous. And it was this interaction that kind of introduced Mo to mineralogy and mineral classification. After his time as a student, around 1802, J.F. von der Nuhl, a Viennese banker, commissioned Mo to systematically describe his mineral collection. And after he did this, Mo published a two-volume description of this collection. Included in this uh, volume was a student-friendly classification chart for minerals. It was kind of like a precursor to the scale that he would develop later. In 1811, Archduke Johann of Austria established a university in Austria, and he commissioned Mo as curator of the mineral collection at this university. It is here in 1812 that Mo fully developed the scale that is used today. So Mo was not the first person to categorize minerals based on their physical characteristics, like hardness. This approach can be traced as far back as 300 BC when Theophrastus, a Greek philosopher, mentioned mineral hardness and other physical attributes in his writings, particularly his uh, treatise on stones. The Roman author Pliny the Elder also talked about hardness and, and other physical characteristics of minerals in his writings. And these early mineralogists wrote on minerals known to them in the ancient world. So for example, they knew that diamond could scratch quartz, showing diamond to be harder. It seems that Mo used some of these writings and ideas in the process of developing his own scale. Now the story does get a little bit more complicated. In the late 1700s, long before he was Moses' professor, Abraham Warner published a book titled On the External Characteristics of Fossils. In this book, Warner described and categorized minerals based on their physical characteristics, including hardness. However, in writing his book, Warner realized that a classification scheme based solely on physical attributes and characteristics could not be created for minerals. In his 1804 writings, Mo is said to have expressed misgivings with Warner's approach to mineral classification. See, Warner preferred classifying minerals based on their chemical composition. That was the dominant approach then and also today. However, Mo preferred classifying minerals based on their physical characteristics. It is even written that in 1810, while on one of his frequent explorations, Mo encountered Werner at Carlsbad and tried to convince Werner of the inadequacy of his mineralogical method, basically telling him that his classification scheme was a fraud. 
But Warner was unconvinced, so Mo, fresh off the path of failure, was determined to establish a completely new method of systematic mineralogy. After originally writing and publishing the scale in 1812, Mo further enhanced his skill in his book The Treatise on Mineralogy, also titled The Natural History of the Mineral Kingdom. And some believe that the methods for determining hardness and even the scale itself is eerily similar to Warner's own writings and ideas. Nonetheless, Moses' scale and his name have stood the test of time. While minerals are not systematically organized by their physical characteristics, the scale is still extremely useful and still widely used in classrooms today. It allows students to actively understand how minerals relate to one another and what minerals are in general. The scale has also been modified to include other non-mineral objects of known hardness. The scale from the USGS includes objects like a penny or a nail and these objects have quantities of known hardness and it just gives you another way to another tool to actively understand and find what your the hardness of a given mineral is. So this is Moses Hardness Scale of the History and a little bit of the science. I'm probably going to do a video demonstrating how to use this scale. It's pretty straightforward but I think it probably would be a good idea to have a visual. But if there are any other topics, mineral related or not, just earth science in general that you want me to see covered on this channel, definitely comment below. I have lots of ideas so definitely I expect a lot more videos in the future. Alright, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.